Hi everyone, I am Andrea Guaracino, a PhD student from University of Rome Tor Vergata. In this talk, I'm going to present to you Pantograph, a scalable interactive graph genome visualization, showing you the potential of graph genome for comparative genomics. A pan genome models the full set of genomic elements in a given species or clade. In the form of graph genomes, they naturally express genome rearrangements, avoiding the reference bias problem, which pervades classical reference-based views. This means that Pantograph allows researchers to browse the entire genetic diversity in a SARS-CoV-2 population that would otherwise be underestimated. Please don't miss Josiah Siemens Pantograph talk in BioVis if you're interested in a more in-depth explanation of the reference bias problem. Pantograph was born from the need to have a scalable tool capable of interactively visualizing graph genomes in order to take advantage of the benefits of reference-based approaches. The visualization can further be enriched with any data available, such as annotations, geographical locations, and the patient outcomes. Appen genome can be encoded in the form of a variation graph, a particular type of sequence graph, which embeds the linear sequences of the pan genome as paths in the graph itself. In the figure obtained with the cohortacy of Prof. Kasahara, two genomes are reported, with one single nucleotide variant in the middle. When these genomes are encoded into a variation graph, then the graph itself looks like this. Common sequences are merged into one node, and the variation is represented as branches in the graph. Pantograph achieves scalability by implementing a multi-stage data analysis pipeline written in C++, Python, and JavaScript, and leveraging several technologies. The graph genomes nodes are sorted into a roughly linear order using VGTeams OG tool. Graph sorting imposes a single linear coordinate system on the whole graph by determining an order to list its nodes. This is necessary to allow an easy browsability of the graph genome itself. Moreover, our pipeline identifies collinear synthetic regions to obtain a clear and useful representation of a pangenome, exposing the presence of inversions and translocations, which are not representable by classical multiple sequence alignments. Pangenome browser development was part of the larger COVID-19 virtual biohackathon 2020, involving several working groups. Thanks to these collaborations, a public server is available right now with Pantograph serving NCBI SARS-CoV-2 genomes. We invite you to try it out on graphgenome.org. We've also provided the entire pipeline to allow you to create your own pangenome visualization. Future plan development will integrate annotations, samples, metadata, and knowledge graph resources integration via Sparkle queries. Don't miss Toshiyuki Yokoyama's and Simon Hirma's talk titled Semantic Variation Graphs Ontologies for Pangenome Graph in Biontologies for a more in-depth explanation of semantic pangenomes. In order for you to fully appreciate the potential of Pantograph, I will explain how the pan Pantograph pangenome visualization is different from a multiple sequence alignment. In a typical multiple sequence alignment, the single nucleotide variants are represented by the presence of different nucleotides in the same column. In a pangenome matrix, each variant has its own column and is shown as either present or absent in each individual. The pangenome sequence contains all variants and insertions present in an individual. For this reason, it will be longer than any individual sequence. However, 
this approach is incapable of depicting nonlinear structural rearrangements. We therefore break the matrix up into blocks called components, where the ends of each component correspond to the breakpoints or structural rearrangements, which would break the natural left to right browsing for sequences in the genome. In the figure, I reported five sequences in a multiple sequence alignment on the top and a pantograph representation of the same sequences on the bottom. Matching sequences are colored to show you the arrangements, not shown in a multiple sequence alignment. We use colored line called links to show structural variations present in the pan genome. The links join different components in different ways for each individual showing the order of matrix components to follow for reading each sequence. Pantograph is also capable of clearly displaying complex arrangements, including nested inversions. Inversions are shown as an entire component row colored in red for specific individuals, but their sequence is interpreted as the reverse complement of the listed pangenome sequence. In this example, we show an inversion, TTAG, in the third component from the left, nested inside a larger inversion, the second, third, and fourth components. In order to show how pantograph can handle complex topology in many individuals. Finally, I want to thank all the developers involved during the Virtual Biohackathon 2020 which have given a real boost to the Pantograph project. And thank you all for your attention.